Hey everyone, Andang here for some more Lord of the Rings Online. Yes, we are finally going to be adventuring into this new content that has come with this most recent update to Lotro. So I'm super excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. And let's go ahead and just hop right into Lotro here, which will hopefully load. Come on, Lotro. You can do it. There we go. Now we can see Radagast. All right. Good deal. Good deal. And Dragon Firestorm, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. Let's go ahead and read our Into the Gladimir quest text. Radagast has traveled to the woodsman village of Holtvis and seeks your assistance with strange shadows that have appeared along the River Gladden. Many woodmen have noticed an eerie gloom near the entrance to Gladenmere. They came to Radagast seeking answers. And you should speak with him in Holtvis, if as soon as you are able. Alright, here we go. We can't talk to Radagast here. He's got a bunch of random nonsense quests, but we need to, of course, go and actually do this new content. We're not about repeatables here. If you guys have watched the channel a long time, you know that. But still love this place at Roscobel. He's got a nice... Nice little place going on. Alright, let's go ahead and... Port to Blomgard. Which is not where we want to go, but it'll get us close. Because we should just be able to take a stable from there. Alright, how's everybody doing tonight? So yeah, we need to go back over here. Hey, Rimbanus, thank you so much for the follow. Really do appreciate it. Alright, let's find that stable. We do wait, not fear wait the darkness, a second. And we never will. There we go, all right. Our people survived, and our hardships made us stronger. And our hardships made us stronger. Good, good for you, buddy. Good for you. On to hold this. I'm excited to see what this new content is, because I believe it's going to be this whole area up here, right above the Gladden Fields. So that should be really cool. Hey, there's Radagast. What's up, buddy? Andang, dear friend, you have done much to help my home and those in my care among the Vales of Anduin. I need your help once more. Something seeps into the soil from the Lake of Gladenmere, and although I cannot tell what may be the cause, I can feel a deadly darkness all about it. The ruin of an old dwarf mine rests along the side of the lake, abandoned now for almost an age. The Bjorning Varthmath knows a fair amount about dwarf-made structures, and of course my old friend and ally Gandalf is sure to have an opinion on the subject. More than one, I dare say. <laughs> Look for him at the Beoingus. After you have sought out the both of them, meet me in the Gladden Fields. Very well? Very well. <laughs> okay, Radagast, we'll do just as you ask. Our people survived, and our hardships made us stronger. And your hardships made you stronger. Now let's go to the Beoingus first. Get this underway. Check out our Hobbit gift here. <laughs> Another massive pile of copper scraps. Nowhere near that starlit crystal. But there's hope. I'm pretty sure that's only available in the higher tier anyway. 
All right, let's see what we got inside. Hey, Gandalf. Radagast has been quite busy lately, assisting both elves and woodmen with the various troubles in Erin Laskalin and in the Vales. I will speak with him at once, if you say he wishes. A darkness has settled upon the Vales of Anduin. Can you not feel it? It is recommended, but not required, that you complete the Black Book of Mordor chapters 1 through 10 before playing. Shades in the Swamp. Hey, Rambinus, how's it going? A darkness has settled upon the Vales of Anduin, Andang. Can you not feel it? The Beornings and the Woodmen have made homes for themselves among the hills and trees. They are not strangers to the press of the shadow, but of late, it has become deeper. Elrond's household will stay for a time at the Beoingas before continuing on to Gondor for the wedding of his daughter Arwen. While they remain in the Vales of Anduin, they will rely on the hospitality of Grim Beorn, Lord of the Beornings. Speak with Grim Beorn and learn if he has noticed anything untoward that's what's it untoward among the veils i doubt not that he will be will welcome any attempt to make safe his land and that of his neighbors all right gandalf yep anyone's able to join um me here in this zone if you want to just until the ending. Where is Grimbeorn? There is Grimbeorn. Looking grim as ever. My scouts report seeing strange lights among the fetid pools of the Gladden Fields. Gandalf speaks of a darkness that has settled upon the Vales of Anduin. I have felt it too, but the lands of my people will not be threatened as soon as others will, as will others. My scouts report seeing strange lights among the fee fetid pools of the Gladden Fields, and some have heard a woman's song keening on the still air. It has always been a strange place. Home to shades and spirits. But of late, these reports have become more frequent. Has something changed? I cannot say. Hey, BSM Raider, welcome to the chat. And will not. But I will face it with tooth and claw if I must. That has always been my way. The woodmen live nigh to the Gladden Fields. They will be the first affected. And if some evil has stirred up the shades there, they will be among the first affected. I did not fight to defend them so recently at the old ford for them to succumb to a new danger so soon. Go to Holtvis at Wood's Edge. And find someone who might know what has happened to disturb shades and spirits formerly at rest. One of the hunters may best know, Andeng. Speak with one of them. Alright, man, there are a lot of elves here. It's an elf party. It'd be funny if every time we come back here, there's just more elves. <laughs> Alright. I have slain goblins today. Can you say the same? The Gladenmere, you say? I thought the path to the, that vale was blocked by a rock slide, and we were better off for it. It is not a welcoming place. The old dwarf mine of Kidzol Kala stands there, they say, long abandoned. 
Meet me on the mountain path that leads towards Kizilkala, and we when you are able. There is an old dwarf dock there where we can meet. Alright. And yeah, you can join the Den Gang over on Discord, of course. Legolas always around. Good deal, good deal. All right, let's see what we got. Still a quest inside. Uh, with shades of swamp ghostly figures. All right, let's remove that. There we go. So we have one there and one in hold fist. Okay, that we can do. The veils must be made safe. Do Here we go. What you can. Yeah, we got all new panel designs down below. I spent all day making those. So hopefully you guys like them. Let me know what you think. I feel like every week we're just gradually making the stream a little bit better, you know, a little higher quality here and there. <laughs> like we're painting like one raw wall of a room at a time kind of a thing but it's get it's getting there can it be in my heart i hoped you would return but i feared to send word and in any event i did not know how to reach you but for you to arrive at this moment i dared not hope for it even at my lowest point my son baldwila is a hunter, as am I, Handeng. We were hunting on the west bank of the river, not far from Avabag, when we were surprised by a party of orcs. There is not un that is not unusual in these dark days, and as our is our custom, we split up in order to frustrate the pursuit. Badwilla knows to return to Holtfis when it is safe. I have not yet seen him. Do you think you could go and look for my son? It may be that the orcs of Avabag proved too wily for him to escape, and they and he may be held in their fort on the island. Slay the orcs there, and if you still do not see sign of him, proceed further south into Gladden into the Gladden fields. We heard tale of shades and colored lights among the pools, and while I forbade him from seeing them, he may have been drawn in that direction after escaping from the orcs. Please, Handeng, there is no one else to whom I can turn. So you're telling me that you're not even going to look for your own son. You're going to have us do it. That has to be one of the craziest, like, Oh, I'm an NPC, I'm gonna ask you to do something quests ever. <laughs> like, the rangers were lazy, but this guy won't even look for his own son. Jeez. All right. Hey, Jack of Sam, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. They say, Handing, is this a glitch or did you just keep me as patient rank on Discord even though I canceled my membership on YouTube? Um, so yeah, it doesn't auto update, so I just didn't didn't re-update it so you you still are that rank at discord you're welcome but yeah if you want me to change that I can and uh, if, if I get to it I will just change it in general Alright, so we have to go over here and defeat orcs on this island. Should be interesting. Whoa, that I forgot how big this island is. The map makes it look so small. Alright, I think we missed the ford. Yeah, here we go. Here, here we go. Good deal, good deal. <laughs> Thank you for for your kindness. That's funny. All right. Time to hunt some orc. Yeah, 
There would be some orc. Oh yeah, if you're wanting to find out about shades and stuff, this is the place. Creepy as ever. Here we go. Wow, that's some major lag. Good gravy on applesauce. There we go. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that in my life. Good gravy on apple. Who says? All right, whatever. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. It just it just was one of those things that comes out. All right. these orcs. There better not be any gravy on any applesauce, or so help me. Archer in the bush. Oh, there's two orcs here, I believe. It's kind of hard to, yeah, there's definitely two. It's hard to tell, though. There we go. Now we can easily tell. Playing the game without floaty names on versus with floaty names on really is like a totally different experience. It's kind of crazy. All right. <clears throat> I recommend if you've never just turned off floaty names and played around to do that. What's over here? Shades in the swamp. Why is there one? I guess there's like a hidden shade in here somewhere. right on top of that icon. I don't know what it's talking about. So we're just gonna go ahead and go down to the Glen Fields down here. See if we can find some more shades to fight. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Phenomena? Must be in a weird mood today. I'm just saying stuff I don't normally. Let's make it down here. Oh, look at that! That's beautiful. And then there's fog. Right, or the mist of the waterfall. Look how fast that river's moving. Jeez! Like, we should be washed way down this thing. Like, we should be. Like, going like this. Yeah, let's pick up the pace a bit. Man, we are, we're just a strong warrior. That's what it is. But I feel like I should be, uh, like, going like that. Okay. Oh, hello. Now I need to find shades in the Latin fields. Here we go. Hopefully this counts. Hey, it did. It did. There we go. Champions are the best swimmers, right? Champions are automatically the best things, because they're the champion. You know, they're best at everything. They're like all around this rock. That's interesting. I wonder if that means anything, or if it's just... A happy accident. Good deal, good deal. It looks like we got a pop-up quest here. Let's go ahead and fight you, Lost Spirit. He had to explode first before we could attack him. 
lost in the swamp. A strange darkness has come over the vales of Anduin. Lost spirits move among the river Gladden. These fell beings should be defeated if the vales are to remain safe. Lost in the swamp. That just creates all kinds of optimism here, as you guys, I'm sure, can tell. Great. Oh, happy day. We could fight toads, or we could fight another lost spirit. Look for Baldwa in the northwest of the Gladden Fields. You hear a faint voice calling from the northwestern reaches of the Gladden Fields. Alright. Wow, we were way north of where we needed to be. Okay. We'll go south. You hear a voice actually from the southwestern side of the Gladden Fields. Silly quest text, doesn't even know. The two wizards embrace and are soon deep in conversation. For a second there, because you hear two wizards so much, for a second there I thought they were talking about blue wizards. And then I realized, oh yeah, Gandalf and Radagast. Gandalf, we have both seen the shades walk in the fields, but that is not the reason I called you here. I am sorry for what I have done. I was a fool to trust Saruman. Look at the destruction he has caused. And indeed, I am partly responsible for the damage his machines have caused here in the Gladden Fields. And the trap into which you walked all unawares. It was I that sent you into it. Will you ever forgive me for that, old friend? I wish to right these wrongs, Gandalf. And I will begin here in the Vales of Anduin. Do not bear the weight of it yourself, Radagast. Saruman deceived us all. I had hoped I could steer him from that path, but alas, it proved to be not so. Andeng, I charge you with the investigation of the Gladenmere. I will stay here and converse with my friend Radagast, for there is much about which we must speak. Great, now we get to go all by ourselves on into the swamp. And get lost, presumably. <laughs> Great. Alright, let's... What's over here? In the north? Well, Alright, so this is the same quest we read earlier. So I guess we had like two quests overlapping there. It looks like they are clearly right here. An injured hunter lies among the remains of a dozen orcs. Dang. Dude. Good for you, good for you. I think the orcs were trying to, to take me alive. D did my father send you to me? We were separated, and I could not get back to the village. I think the orcs were trying, trying to take me alive. That is the only, the only reason I still live. Badwilla pauses to catch his breath, but when he speaks again, his voice is still faint, still full of fear, and his face is pale. Look what the orcs got for the trouble. Death. Death came for them. It was a terrifying spirit, a shade of evil countenance. It descended upon them and killed them all. It is a wonder it did not kill me too. Dang. It was a man, so it must have been in life. It put me in mind of the tales of my people tell of Vagari the Wanderer, the spectre that stalks the veils. Do you know the story? It is said he appears in the mist from time to time, but few have seen him with certainty, and none have gotten near enough to hear him speak. 
Mahiru, winter hare of the northern men, followed Vagari for a time. But he was missing for a year, and when he returned, he remembered little of the experience. Bacon, Donut, Butt Bandit, welcome to the chat, nice to have you here. And Mecca Apple, welcome to the chat, nice to have you here as well. Got all the emotes, cool. Baldwilla frowns at you and tests his injured leg. Nay, it is not just this orc wound that troubles me. I said the shade reminded me of the tales of Vagari, the Wanderer, and it does, save one difference. As it approached, I felt an overwhelming sensation of hatred, not just for the orcs, but for all living things. And it spoke without breath. It slew every orc, chanting in its terrible voice. And I feared it would stay me, slay me as well, were it to pay me any heed. But I feigned death, and it did not notice me. Had it done so, this orc wound would be the least of my troubles, and you would have only a corpse to bear back to father. Bear. Because <laughs> he's a Bjorn and get it? Goodness. I usually watch your YouTube videos. Nice to see you live. Hey, thanks. Glad to have you here. The words, the words, the words it spoke were not addressed to me, nor I think to the orcs. But as it set about dispatching its foes, it muttered these words without breath. Son of no blood. It said, Son of no blood, over and over. I am chilled to remember it. The tale that my people tell of Vagari the Wanderer are different. That shade seemed to pose no ill will toward Magari Winter Hare, and his account contained no report of such malice intent or frightening chant. What can it mean, Handeng? I think my leg is well enough to carry me home now. But the memory of this encounter will haunt me until the end of my days. Will I become as Maharu, winter hair did? Scorned by my people. But I know what I saw. And I know it is true. Oh, dang. But I'm not at this point yet, so part of me wants to watch, and part of me wants to run and hide from spoilers, right? Sandy Toes. Nice to have you here. <laughs> I'll just welcome players as well. To <laughs> Welcome people to chat, welcome people in game. It's all good. Showing up for the live show. Gloomwater. Well, that is the... No, that's not it. It's over there. So this is just the Gladden Fields that we're overlooking now. Okay. Interesting, interesting. You just left a dune? Okay. A strange darkness has come to the Vales of Anduin. Vile gloom waters move along the River Gladden. These creatures should be defeated, if the veils are to remain safe. Okay. We shall defeat them then. So now we got gloom water to defeat, we got these shades, which apparently these light bulbs count as shades. Gotta put the shade on the light bulb. That way you don't blind yourself from the lamp. Right. Oh, I guess... No, it's the uh, Lost Spirits that we gotta take on. 
Whoa. A relic hunter up here. And I'm not crashing? Confirmed. A strange darkness has come to the Vales of Anduin. Wandering gloams move along the River Gladden. These creatures should be defeated if the Vales are to remain safe. Alright. <laughs> Here we go. I do like the Vales. Just a nice, beautiful zone. Alright. Well, we got plenty of things to fight, it would seem. I'll let you follow me. It's crazy to see that we have almost 120,000 morale. I'm not used to that on my champion. Not used to that at all. See, that gave us somebody to fight while we were waiting. Good deal, good deal. Defeated lost spirits. Stay away, Rat. Okay. How do we get up there anyway? There's gonna be a path somewhere, right? Beautiful until the Roblox Balrog comes. I forgot all about that. Oh, that's funny. Serious, we need more robot Balrogs in our lives. Loot box is still a thing, it would seem. Thought we'd. Oh, you know what it is? You know what it is? Uh, da, da, da. How do we do it again? Where's the filter option? I don't even remember now. We only did it on the one character, not the other, but I'm trying to remember how... Alright, I think you have to do it at a vendor. I don't remember, though. We'll figure it out later. Oh no, he's here! Oh, that's great. That's great. So I'm guessing the path up is pretty obviously there, right? Interesting. We're knee deep in veils. Knee deep in the swamp. Madden moss back. Oh man, they attack. The other one doesn't. The other one didn't. But that one does. Good to know. <clears throat> okay, let's make our way on to, into this new zone. I'm excited. Yes, we do have a gloom water up here. This is quite the path. It doesn't even look like a path. Alright. Why are the marsh tenders so mad they need to take a chill pill? <laughs> right? Look at that. Alright, we need to get around that geometry. Let's go back over here. We'll get we'll get up to a better spot. That looks just unfinished. All right, here we go. In the bush. That's cool. Beautiful. Another pop-up quest, okay. Ooh. Strange lights flicker in the swamps and marshes in the Vales of Anduin. Wandering light, lost light, move along the River Gladden. These creatures should be defeated if the veils are to remain safe. 
And you should probably defeat him soon, for your morale is going as about as fast as I'm talking. Jeez, this guy has a lot. All right, let's let's get our healing going. Good grief. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. That's what we get for reading quest text. There we go. Whew. That was intense. I guess we're not getting a screenshot of that. Me getting killed by an uh, orc and then standing without a care in the world while being attacked by an elite master. Uh, yep. <laughs> That's Lozier for you, right? Alright, we should be able to get this one hopefully I'm just wanting like a screenshot of one up close with the background being the the overdrop there oh 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 there we go there we go that that'll be it uh, dun, 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 dun. let me click off of you I can't die all right here we go nope Alright, whatever. We're just gonna fight you. Good deal, good deal, good deal. Okay, we're finally making our way around the bend and able to see what this place is gonna be like. Whoa! Whoa! That place is huge! Alright, I'm excited. Let's get up there. Oh geez. Not another one. Not another one. We should probably do that. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now's the time, now's the time. There we go, there we go. Easy peasy, all right. And we're stuck. There we go. This place is pretty cool. I guess there's some stuff out on an island out here too. Interesting, interesting, interesting. There's another gloom water defeated. Oh, that's where you do it at the. All right, all right. Next loot box that comes along, we'll be able to filter it out. Good deal. I just want to see this dwarf fortress. It looks pretty freaking awesome. I can't wait till we're out on the island because I feel like that'll be the best view of this place looking all good.
goodbye. All right. Let's beat this guy and then we'll take a swing shot again. Ten of twelve. Oh yeah. That looks awesome. I really do like how the clouds now finally go around mountains and things. It, it looks so much better. Like, Cloud Tech and Lotro is finally on point. Now they just need to fix waterfalls and we'll be in a good spot. And now we wait. Goodbye. She still have a lot of things to take on here. Done. Done. <coughs> we, just, we just sucked in water. You have defeated many lost spirits along the river Gladden. Making the Vales of Anduin safer. Awesome. That's a cute bear. Alright, so we need Lost Lights, Wandering Glooms, and Gloom Waters. So not Lost Spirits anymore. Okay, that, that's a cool Dwarven Aqueduct. I like it coming out of the Dwarf Mouth, that's cool. Whoa. Pretty cool little place. And so they are wondering what is going on with this over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get away from that. Hey, Ruin, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. Cool cloak, thanks, man. Okay, we got this uh, just questing in the, the previous part of this zone. Before the new update. Show it here in a second once we stop fighting the M. Yeah, this is probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite cloak I've had in the that's not it. And that's not it either. Uh, here we go. Cloak of the skin changers is what it's called, and it's super cool. Very Bayorning esque. Just cross over here, so we only fight them. The enemies are getting more concentrated, that's for sure. I feel like we're headed towards something. It doesn't feel like just a random, random lead up, but it's, oh dang! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! 
Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Get ready, everybody. Here we go. There's one. And uh, okay, we effect. There we go. Got him. Boy, oh boy. Da, 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 there we go. Oh, oh geez, of course you come over. Alright, we're gonna fight you first, I guess. Oh, dang. Come on, come on. Just use something useful. There we go. Oh, geez, oh, geez, oh, geez. You've been defeated yet? If you haven't, make sure you do. It's good for your health, trust me. Builds character. <laughs> Alright. Man, that was that was a tough fight there. They don't joke around. Alright. So we'll fight you. Here we go. Uh da da da. This item on this character. So there's item on all characters. There we go. You just so defeat many dead. All right, that's the advanced. We already got the base. Good. Yeah, this extra zone will help with the advanced deeds. That'll be great. They just got a spirit train going on there. I don't like those things. They can't be good. They gotta be bad news bears, right? Goodbye. I'm excited. This is quite the place for just a mine. They call it a mine. A mine. Okay, that's definitely a thing. Alright, I guess we'll go in here. What's up here? Talk to Gandalf inside the Baring Gus. Yeah, we kind of missed that one, huh? Whoa. Well, that's cool. I learned my mistakes from Moria. You always look before you leap inside dwarven settlements. Hello. And another one. Another one bites the dust. Here we go. Good deal, good deal, good deal. See, I feel like there's like hidden stuff all around because of the way they've designed this. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool feeling. Okay, we still need more of those. We definitely need to go back to talk to Gandalf at some point. Of course, there's an underneath. We'll help them fight this real quick. Uh, no, thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. Whoa. That's some gold. Ok, 
Okay, okay. We definitely got we're definitely gonna have to go back to Gandalf. You defeated many wandering gloams over the river Gladden, making the Vales of Anduin safer. Uh-huh. Yeah, that doesn't seem good. Uh, there's like these evil totems all over the place here. Jeez, for them to give up this mine, something must have gone bad, right? Because those have to be like veins of gold. So what the heck happened here? Alright, I feel like we've gone in a circle. There's a ladder down. Interesting. What would happen if we just went... Let's see, is there anything we haven't explored in here? I guess this middle path, huh? Dang, I really need to get that cosmetic sheep. That will help you survive all these bad situations. Oh, everyone. Everyone's starting it again, guys. Now that I think of it, they should add a spirit race oathbreaker. Yeah, that'd be cool. But better than other version of dwarves or elves, yeah. That would be cool. I'm still hoping for the ranger. I don't think they're ever going to do it. What happened? Death! Cue creepy voiceover. What I, what I want to see is the introduction of, like, them as a person alive, and then they turn into the wraith. That would be pretty cool. Seeing the story of how somebody becomes a wraith, and the someone is you. I don't know if there's actually wandering lost lights in here. You defeated many glow waters along the river Gladden, making the Vales of Anduin safer. I guess this is like way up the river. <laughs> Inside the mountain river. Which do exist, I suppose. And that's what they say. Lost lights. Yeah, I don't think we saw any lost lights in here. Let's go back out and see if we can find one. It's just beautiful. All right, let's let's actually go back to Gandalf, and then, assuming the story takes us here, we'll come back here. I want to see your character become a wraith in the new Middle Earth MMO. That would be cool. That would be cool. Very unexpected, for sure. That's a 7,000 critical rating. My lore master couldn't even imagine that, and that's only like 15 levels Will ago. Will you help us? There is always more to be done. Always more. Always. All right, let's go talk to Gandalf. Get this quest on the road.
Little did they know that Durin's brain was just a pawn. The real master behind Gandalf's death was the robot Balrog. <laughs> oh, that's great. The robot Balrog. All right, Gandalf. Have you learned more about the darkness that has settled upon the Vales? You recount to Gandalf the tale of Bodwilla, the hunter, and his encounter with the hate-filled Shade. Gandalf frowns. I cannot tell what you think of this story ending. It is your belief, or Bodwilla's, that this Shade he encountered is the same as that encountered by Mira Haru, Winter Hare, the spirit called Vagarai, by the woodmen. The gladdened fields have seen much death and tragedy over the years, and the woodmen have long reported mysterious lights and unsettling voices in the marshes. It would not surprise me to learn that this is a second shade, as filled with rage as the first seemed begin. Benign. The aura of hatred that Bodwilla described reminds me of the dread that, accompan that accompanied Sauron's most powerful servants, the Nazgul. Interesting. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. But Sauron is gone, and the Nazgul with him. This spectre must be something else, and indeed, let us be thankful for that. <laughs> In point of fact, I believe I chanced upon this very shade during my travels long ago, and thought it gone, never to return. I will tell you of that encounter, but first I ask that you go outside and speak with Master Elrond. I would like to know what he thinks. Of Budwilla's story, for he is counted highly among the wise, and I greatly value his opinion and the reach of his knowledge. All right, off to talk to Elrond, not in his library. Finally, Elrond's traveling with us, and not the other way around, right? Okay. But watch, when Elrond gets back to Rivendell, we're going to go right back to that library. The enemy is gone, but the things he set in motion may not yet have dissipated. Imagine this, you have a quest that has an eventual option to fight the Witch King. But the end result is that instead of beating him, he turns you into a wraith. Would be a crazy twist. Yeah, that would be pretty cool, but I think it's kind of already been done in Shadow of War, but <laughs> still pretty cool. Alright. This tale you weave is of great interest to me, Andeng, but I am afraid I can provide little insight that Gandalf does not already possess. Save this. Perhaps shades linger most often in furtherance of an oath they swore in life. For a shade of such hatred to remain in this world may indicate that it served some terrible power. The enemy is gone, but the things he set in motion may not have dissipated. Whether there be one shade or two at work in the Vales of Anduin, I advise you exercise caution. Whatever may be the truth of it, stories can change over the years. Who can say what the original Colonel may have been? Vagary the Wanderer may mean no harm to the Woodmen, or to the Bayonings, or to those who travel in their land. But remember that even in the original story, Marhairu, Winter Hare, was taken from his home for a year, and returned greatly changed. Ill intent or no, his life was altered by that encounter, 
and I should judge not for the better. Here we go. Here, here we. I read ahead on this line. Get ready. Get ready for this line, chat. Let's let's see some hype. Here we go. I miss my library and dang. If only I had access to my books, I might say more, but this will have to do. Return to- I was so worried he was gonna say return to my library and get that one book that I love. I was so worried that he was gonna say- alright, here we go. Return to Gandalf and tell him this. I know what the wizard believes, Vagarai the Wanderer to be. And I caution him that it may not be so. Beware. Go back to my library and get my book. No thank you, Elrond. No thank you. You, you miss your library? Wow! What a surprise! I'm so shocked. Uh. I told you I encountered this shade long ago, and it is true. I accept Master Elrond's warning, but it does not dissuade me from wishing to learn more about Vagari the Wanderer, and neither should it dissuade you. I told you I encountered this shade long ago, and it is true I walked these lands for many years watching the trials of men and elves, and lending my aid wherever I deemed it necessary. <clears throat> it was some time after the Battle of Path Celebrant and the departure of the Aotheon that I walked by the side of the Anduin, pondering who would now defend the woodmen against the ravages of the orcs of the Misty Mountains. Then it was that I saw this very shade. I would have let it be, Andang, had it not spoken. But it called me by a curious name, a name I had never heard before, and it drew me on. I pursued the shade into the swamp, and even from so great a distance, I could feel the intense aura of its hatred. The spirit should not have been, and I knew that in Elrond's absence, such a hateful presence would endanger the woodman. I cast a spell of banishment upon the shade, and it vanished. I believed it had been gone for good, but now it has returned, and I know not why. Um, that is enough for now. <laughs> but that's enough about that. Let's talk about Elrond's library. Someone get this elf an international library card. <laughs> right? There's other libraries, Elrond. It's not just yours. That is enough for now, Undang. I will continue to think on it. But I ask you to conduct a search throughout the Gladden Fields for signs of this mysterious presence. If Badwilla's account can be trusted, and I think it can, you may find some clues about the Shade's motivations at places where the Orcs and Half Orcs gather. Search too on Tol Send, the Isle of the Flowers, and along the mounds of Ton Melon. He needs a I love my library t-shirt, right? You are certain to find lesser shades among the fields as you search these places. Whether they are drawn here by the presence of the wanderer or not, they pose a danger for the warm-blooded folk of the Vales, and you should defend, defeat them <laughs> if you can. It is my hope that you ser your search will reveal why Vagary has returned to this place. If we were to learn that, we might learn much else 
of use to us. All right, Gandalf, we can do this. We can do this, no problem. We'll fight the shade that caused you to almost lose yourself as well as cause other people to be lost for long periods of time. Sure, why not? <laughs> well, Elrond's library has the only copy of Robot Balrog versus Robot Wizard. That's great. Alright, we can take that one off. Turn that one on. Uh... Didn't we just turn... Could have sworn we just turned that one off. Am I going crazy? I might be. Oh, we still got lost lore, okay. Interesting, interesting. All right, let's see what we got. Everything down there. So... Let's go to Blumgard. I have slain goblins today. Can you say the same? I'm sure Elrond will eventually flock back to his library. Right, Andang? You're... You're pushing that cheap thing awful hard. It never ends. It never ends. Dismount. Dun da da. Here we go. On an adventure. <laughs> now we can go on an adventure, hopefully. Here we go, on an adventure. Alright. Luckily it's just a hop, skip, and a jump over there. Kerplunk. <laughs> Alright. Well, turns out we didn't even need to cross that, okay. Great. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Need to fight you. Good deal, good deal. Here we go. One of ten, okay. Where are these wandering lost lights anyway? I really don't know. Let's see, we need to go way over there, so let's do that. Get a little bit of some ground covered here. What if the sheep was just a uh, robot Balrog shrunk and with a sheep costume and no minigun, rocket launcher, grenade launcher, sniper rifle, super sword, super axe, booster jets, and you get the de- I, I don't know. That, I think you win the, uh, the adding everything. Oh my goodness. It's quiet. Too quiet. Almost as if we're swimming through air. I don't know why swimming sounds are broken on our client, but it seems like we never have them. Robot Palrog will wool the world. Okay. Okay. I hope y'all are happy. Mm. 
All right, let's make our way up here. Oh, the wolves. I forgot they were here. Hmm. You can go over here anyway. <laughs> we can just go right over. There is no sign of vagary among the half orcs. Well, I could have told you that. Alright. Now, getting out will be a little bit harder, I imagine. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Easy, easy. Wolfmaster 69 eliminated robot Balrog with a pun. Super effective. Don't worry, Endang, I know. Ewe. E. U. U. Ewe. Like Robot Balrog as well. E. W. E. I don't know what that is. Alright, let's mount up. Make our way over to this one. We're just gonna search everywhere. Yui is a female sheep or a baby sheep, you can't remember. What's a sheep? Oh boy. There's no sign of Vigari among the reeds. Uh, there we go. Almost went too far. Definitely a sheep thing though, okay. Good to know, good to know. Feel like you're pushing the buttons though, everyone. You're pushing the buttons. Like your sheep knowledge definitely outrivals my own. It's always such a bad wreck whenever we hit water. All right. Nearly there. Oh, and there's one. All right. Well, we got plenty of places to look, I guess. Found of flowers is quiet and still. Okay, so we don't need to go up there. There's just happens to be a shade up there, I guess. We need to go over here, though. Good to know, good to know. Lost spirit, stay away. Just need to feed shades. And wandering lost light. Huh. <laughs> Find this thing, so help me. It might have been down there. I don't know. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nope. Nope, definitely not down here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's dismount so we can figure out where we are. There we go. All right, let's not do that again. <laughs> Hello. He 
Here we go. Thank you, Lord Master. In questionable clothing. No sign among the orcs. Alright. Again, could have told you that one. Okay. Where's this into... Okay, they're at the campfire. Let's make our way over there. I don't think Bloodborne read quest text because he was saying this thing took like an hour and we're already an hour and a half in. And I don't think we're anywhere near the end, but who knows, maybe we are. I don't know. I don't know what this story is going to be. Or how long. Alright, we missed the way up, I think. Back over here. I still think it's cool if the giant reeds were just like bog lurkers just hiding beneath the surface. Well, we got dismounted. We'll fight them when we get up here. To this one. Goodbye. Okay. Hey, there's a wandering lost light. These guys are ridiculous. I mean, they even have dread. eight. Hey, dang, have you heard that falling down a sheer cliff can break your hoofs? Yes. Thank you, everyone. Somebody make a ruin stop. <laughs> oh, my. Whoa, hello. Got all of Radagast's friends out here fighting us. Bye. <laughs> Robot Balrogs will make you stop. Oh man. There's that. You feel a watchful presence from the western side of the Gladden Fields. Okay, I guess we need to go back for that. Ruin is so helpful, right? Right. Oh. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, just ride past. Hey, there we go. Come on. Oh. 
That would help. Whew. Glad there's other players here. Alright. I'll fight him. There we go. Let's go to this camp. And we don't need you. Where's the campfire though? Like, seriously. I feel like we're right on top of it, but it's still a ways further. Oh, there's a stable here. Wow, okay. There's a lot of stuff here. What do you want? Glormir Northern Shore. Oh, so you got... It says stable travel, but it seems like boat travel to me. Alright. The rails must be made safe. Do what you can. Hello there, Undeck. The path here was freed of the shore stones that blocked it. But now shades and strange shadows descend upon the valley. The elves I met on my travels here wished to assist us. Very few have ever ventured to the old dwarf mine of Kidzul Kala. I say we learn all that we can of this place, and then return with our report for Grimbeorn. The Beornings once made safe the Riverlands. We will again. Yeah, we heard. Don't worry, I'm done, lol. Sorry if I started to annoy you. Uh, I was having too much fun there. Yeah, we heard it all. <laughs> You can take my place. It is kind of the elves to assist us in learning more about the troubles of, that plagued the Gladenmere. I have conversed with other new companions, and they agree we should investigate the ruins of Kidzul Kala. We will explore and observe the old dwarf mine, and return in safety. Do you agree? Sure. You there, stranger. Wow, you just hopped right over that log, didn't you? <laughs> Alright, let's see if there's anything else we need to lock in here. We might want to keep that. I literally want to cast into the fire. You can't do that. I'm sorry. You can't burn this. And let's just get rid of all those. We're never going to use them. Might as well not put it there. Not sure why. I think our inventory overflowed. And that's why we got all this stuff. I wish you could like select all and just move it all down. But you can't. Um hmm. <laughs> We'll do this. There we go. Alright. Let's get a move on. And just as a reminder, if you have not followed yet, feel free to do so. Oh great, here we go, here we go. Riders of the Grey Company. And we get a lot of spirit. Great. Just what I always wanted. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Some of this area reminded me of a certain area in the Lone Lands. 
Okay. It looks like the mountains have literally like snowed over part of the fortress. That's cool. All right, so we do have that thing back outside of here, but I don't think we're gonna go immediately to that. We need to keep making our way up the hill here. Loot all that. An unpleasant darkness has settled upon veil the Vales of Anduin. Spirits drift upon the Gladden Mere and through the old dwarf ruins of Kidzulkala. These few beings should be defeated if the veils are to remain safe. Sorry, Andang, I need to leave for a little bit. Have a great stream. Hey, thank you so much. Thanks for joining, BSM Raider. Appreciate it. Alright. Hey, defeated one of however many. And they're just war stealing this. Alright. Good deal, good deal. Come on. Get it in. There we go. Explore the mine entrance. Man, we should have. We should have waited to come up here, I guess. Don't underestimate war steeds. Yeah, no kidding. Alright. There is still, but the shadows seem to move unpleasantly. You know what? We're gonna get this, but just so that we don't have to come back here again, we're gonna back up and go back to that other quest. Because I don't want to have to backtrack like three times. So that's what these things are. We just never got to them earlier. Because I was like, what's that? It's a quest thing. Oh, okay. It's a shadow source. How we destroy them, I don't know. Alright, let's go back. Just in case it gives us yet more quests. And then we'll go back in there again. For the third time. Really the second, because that doesn't really count. Lotro likes to make you go to the same spots over and over and over, etc. Right? It's just a never-ending repeat. Alright. Let's see, do we have anything... We honestly should probably just equip that anyway. Uh, da, da, da. Out of combat run speed. Okay. And we're in combat again. Great. One of the things I don't like about this game, yeah, me too. You just go back to the same spots a little bit too many times. Because I'm fine returning to places, but there needs to be a reason, right? It can't just be, oh, let's go back here again for the fourth time. Just because you didn't have this quest already that you could have had. Yeah, I don't like it when they do that. I wish even that like they'd say like, oh, you already did, you know, you already did that when you went to that place, so we're just gonna give you credit. Like we we're gonna ask you to do this, and you're like, yeah, I did that. And they're like, okay, here you go, here's your payment. Like that's what I would like to see. All right, let's hop down here. Alright, we're almost there. Here we go. I get what I do it though from a dev perspective to a point. Well, here's the thing. Just have less quests in the game. Just have less quests in the game. I would much prefer to have less content than to just be going back to the same area for no real reason. 
Whoa, this dude is... This dude is... Cr of course you does not want his picture taken, apparently. Oh my gosh. <laughs> really does not want his picture taken. <laughs> Alright, let's real quick. There we go. All right. Son of no blood, son of no blood. Whoa. The Shade's voice is cruel and cold. It stares past you with wild eyes, seeming to address someone you cannot see. And you are overwhelmed by a feeling of dread that causes the memory of the Nazgul to rise unbidden in your mind. But the Nazgul are gone. Destroyed alongside the Dark Lord. Your musings are cut short by an unexpected realization. The Shade is weeping. I ask... Hmm. I ask for only three things, it cries. Its hollow voice thick with despair. I ask for my life, it pleads. I ask for escape, the shade begs, tearing at its face with spectral hands. The ghostly figure suddenly writhes and shakes instead of asking its unseen tormentors for a third boon. It seems to be somewhere else in its memory. I am sorry. I am sorry, it cries. Uh, okay. Vagari disappears from view, but you feel another presence up the cliff path to the northwest. See, it's a good thing we came back. Reminds me of the Wandering Shade from the Barrow Downs. Still one of my favorite NPCs in the game. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like the uh, ship NPC as well. And let's make our way on up again for the millionth time, it feels like. Well, thankfully, not that many times. Hopefully, we'll catch up with those other players, but there were quite a few of them all together, so I doubt it. We shall... Uh, hello. Hello. <laughs> That's tempting. Alright. This must be the Maiden of Gladden, of whom the woodman spoke. Okay. What has brought you to this place? The maiden stares at you. Her face betrays no emotion. At last she speaks, and her voice is like the sound of water falling over among the stones. What has brought you to this place? She asks quietly. The maiden's eyes are deep, still wells. She regards you silently, and disappears. Okay. Well, that's crazy. Goodbye. <laughs> and then there was an elf steed that ran past you. Wait, why is there a quest behind us? Lead Shades of the Swamp. Okay. There we go, alright. The Maiden stares at you with 
Enigmatic eyes. Few only come this way. The maiden regards you with disgust. Few only come this way, she says, and her voice puts you in mind of a sighing breeze among the reeds. My friend is not to be disturbed. Go and let him remain at peace. Once more she disappears and reappears further to the west. You know, if you just want to reappear, we'd probably stop caring. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, ways to the west, okay. Mm -hmm. I need to find more of those wandering lights that spawn crazy enemies. Whoa, there's a whole thing up there. Huh. We'll go up there in a minute. Let's keep going this way for now. Both of them. Make it on the. Whoa, you're just floating here. Many are they who seek to harm my friend. Another river maiden, right? This is a little different, though, I feel like. Well, I guess she is the maiden of Gladden, so maybe not. The maiden motions at the encircling hills with. Uh, one slender arm. Many are they who seek to harm my friend. Long have I kept him safe, granting him the peaceful slumber he needs. How am I to know you wish him well? The maiden falls silent, but her words hang in the air like ripples on the surface of a pond. Then she croaches and picks up a handful of soil, letting the dirt fall back to the ground between delicate fingers. So many of my friends have gone away. Merlif and Braglad, Siloth and Lingwest. They planted flowers among the veils, and now the flowers are troubled by encroaching darkness. Sprinkle this pure soil upon the flowers, in memory of my lost friends, and I will know you can be trusted. As the maiden gazes off to the north, beyond the still waters, images rise unbidden in your mind's eye. You see flowers growing among the camps of your foes in the Vales of Anduin, and hastily mark them on your map. The maiden waits for you to pick up the fertile soil. Um. What? Their flowers are troubled by the encroaching darkness. I don't know where the soul is supposed to be. Alright, well, we're gonna keep going, I guess. Put the soil of purity. Shades of the swamp. And it's back here. There. Okay. There we go. The soil feels fertile and rich between your fingers. Oh boy. Alright, what do we need to do now? Up 
there, over there. It's there, there, there. There's one over here somewhere. There's one up there. All over the place. So the question is, do we go do that now? I don't think so. I think we're already here. We might as well finish off everything up here. And then we'll go do that. And then we'll probably come back. And then we'll probably have to do more stuff. But it'll be worth it. There's the Lost Light. This is going to be a really annoying place to fight it too. Come on, come on. Good deal, good deal, good deal. Good deal, good deal. Awesome. Gotta go for a bit, gonna drop you a lurk in the meantime. Thank you. Um, let's go over here. Got that final wandering light, I think. Probably want to heal before we do that. Get that extra max morale. And let's go. Hey, there we go, finish that off. Come on, come on, let's get this. Let's go. There we go. You defeated many wandering lost lights along the river Gladden, making the Vales of Anduin safer. Good deal, good deal. Destroying that shadow source. Alright. Keep making our way up here. What's the orange? Destroy sources of shadow. So we missed one. And let's go back. There's a whole thing down there. And steps and everything. So yeah, it's gotta be down there. We haven't been here yet. Something about the waters pouring into the Gladimir makes you uneasy. This whole place makes me uneasy. I don't know why. Alright, here we go. Four of ten. Explore the entrance. Da 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 da. Alright, I guess we gotta explore down here.
Huh. Interesting. There's still rocks down there. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. These are quite the aqueducts. It says there's something out here. Oh, I guess we're going down here. Okay. We hit our leg on the rock underneath the water. That's crazy. All right. It still suggests that it's like out here. It's like right here. I'm just gonna ignore that and keep going, I guess. That's weird. Let's go back. Waiting, 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 waiting. Now we wait for our bleeds to kill them. Good deal, good deal. Hmm. There's another one over there. And there's one like here. Which I'm guessing is back up this way. So let's go. This place is pretty cool though. Hopefully there's not something down there that we need. The Waterhouse Courtyard. Why do I feel like this is the Waterhouse Courtyard? Let's just make double sure. We didn't miss anything. Oh, we already got that. Alright, let's go back. Now that we pulled everything. Be sure to stop by the mailbox. New mail. It might be a while. We got a ways to go. It literally is like here. So I'm guessing we already found that one and it's just still on the map. That's my hope anyway. Good deal, good deal. Got that one. Thing there. Ah! We already got that one. Spirits of the dead roam listlessly as if the lost in unfamiliar lands. That's weird. Right, 
we're just gonna follow them along. Which, that doesn't even go anywhere, okay. Great. Six, here's seven. There's eight. We're gonna have all the things, dang. There we go, there we go, there we go. There's nine, man, they're all right here. I just have to find the last one. Hey, that was easy. All right. You had defeated many foes at Kidzokala, making the Vales of Anduin safer. Good. Okay, there's literally one down there. And I don't think we can fall that far without hurting ourselves. But we're kind of in a not good spot right now. Oop. How do we get down from here? I guess we're gonna go fall on this thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now here's, here's the big fall. Perhaps now is not the time to explore something... Uh, time to explore. Something watches you from within the mine. What? Dang. If we can move, that'd be great. Discovery of the depths of Kuzzled Kala. Whoa. That doesn't even... Having the chains come out of the mouth like that, that looks like they twisted something. That does not look good. And I guess the other one's up there, so we should have gotten that one first. Great. What's inside? I kind of want to... Oh, there's the instance. Okay. And it doesn't exist yet. So that'll be coming later. So there's the instance for those wondering where it's going to be. Interesting. Now we need to explore the mountain pass and complete the depths of Kazadkala. Dang. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right. Let's try to make our way back on up again. Oh boy. Oh boy. Completed Veil's Dead Slayer advanced already. That honestly doesn't surprise me, I guess. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. There's 
not paying attention, was not paying attention. Um, yeah, we can revive now. Well, there's one death. That's character building, as everyone would say. Oh, dang. I'm just gonna run out here. There we go. <laughs> We're never gonna make it out of here. Alright, so that's proof that you can't really be mounted and be going around so fast in this place. At least not into the building like that. The platform like that, I should say, I guess. Honestly, we don't even need to go that way. We can just go up here. Let's... Yeah, let's do that. We're going back. We're going back. So the mountain pass... Is that back that way to go up to that? Or is it forward? I don't remember where that break off was. Have we learned nothing, apparently. Apparently <laughs> we have learned nothing. But hey, we made it that time. I hope. It's done all the way. What's the other thing we're supposed to find? Something over here. There we go, there we go. We got that. Let's help them with this. down, burning them down. Good deal, good deal. Alright. Keep making our way on along. The bridge across the falls is recently broken. Okay. It wants us to go inside here. The waters within the ruins move with strange currents. Shadows haunt the ruins of Khazad Kala. The darkness has set in to the even to even the old statues and obelisks that decorate the aqueducts of the dwarf made water house. The shadow must be purged from the old ruins, if exploration is to continue. Called it, we're going to be destroying all these things, alright. I guess we should see if there's one up here. Yeah, there will be. Alright. Perfect. Yeah, we should use that for sure. All right. Oh, we'll retreat back. Get the mail. And probably do the go around the zone thing now. And then we'll go back inside and probably take that mountain pass as well. But hey, we completed the heat. Alright, this might all better be worth dying for. Viper, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. Slip over, right? Let 
All right, where's that mailbox? Not here, great. Uh, well, we need to go down there anyway. All right. Got turned around there for a second. Here we go. You will help us face our foes, yes? We hear tell of great deeds from far First I away. I that was Bloodborne. <laughs> but danger is... Uh. But no, it's Blood Rain. Or Ryan. Hey, they went to the same spot we did. What do you know? Hey, thanks for the honey cakes. Appreciate it. And yeah, we should probably have one of those. New mail. Sorry for trolling you. Okay. No worries, man. Thanks for the gold. All right. Let's see here. To the north. Gotta spread that soil all over this place. Here we go. Not an ambusher. Of course it's ambusher. Alright. Why do you have a quest? You will help us face our foes, yes? Are these new? Our people survived, and our hardships made us stronger. Will you help us? There is always more to be done. I'm pretty sure we did that already, right? I don't know. Let me know, chat, if I didn't. Wow, I guess we never went over here. Because we just completed something that was exploratory. Alright, well, I guess we gotta do those quests too. Well, that guy has. This will be interesting. <laughs> Okay. Just more and more quests every moment. Stop, stop it. There's the flower that we're looking for, way inside this camp. And we're gonna give you up.
The flower sparkles with renewed vitality. Great. Right, let's go back to that NPC and do those quests, I guess. Because we clearly never finished this, apparently. Or this is part of the repeatables somehow. We hear tell of great deeds from far away, but danger is always near. Several of the carriers I sent to Arkham have not returned. I suspect the orc activity these Beornings mentioned was their attacks on my men. The Beornings will not allow me to cross and reclaim my stolen goods. If you are heading in there to deal with the orcs, will you please keep an eye out for any of my supplies? We hear tell of great deeds. Hey, Elder, thank you for the raid. But danger is always near. We got an Elder raid. Thanks, Elder. The Bjornings tell me that I can't deliver these goods because of orc activity. Uh, but they also will not do anything about it. Why? Because then the post would be unmanned. You look to be skilled in combat, champion. Would you please do something about these orcs? I will pay you, of course. Alright. Eldolith cookies for everyone in an Elder Raid! I forgot to copy the raid message, but it's an Elder raid. Hey, Wayward Plane, welcome to the chat. Eldolith, welcome to the chat. Nice to have both of you here. Good deal, good deal. Welcome all. Will you help us? There is always more to be done. See, I hate it when you go through the other two and then you finally get to the one where he's like, Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> You're like, you should have started with that, buddy. Greetings, traveler. I am Lofrind, a humble trader. Are you headed to Arheim? Uh, would you be willing to help me with something? I have some supplies for the village, but the Bjornings will not let me pass. They tell me that the orc activity on the road has made it unsafe for regular folk like me. Perhaps they are right, as some of the carriers I sent with supplies never came back. If you're headed that way and they let you pass, would you take these supplies to Arham for me? They are very isolated down there, and will be eager to receive them. Alright. <laughs> You're wanting us to take all that? Okay. Here we go. Good deal, good deal. Alright. I was working on the old episodic content, uh, The Lay of Rust and Rhyme. Not yet up to where you are, and so it's spoiler content for me, so gonna lurk chat, but popping over for a snack. Cool. Yeah, I think there's a lot of people lurking tonight because they're not wanting to spoil it. It's still pretty new content. It just came out Tuesday. This appears to be the source of the orc ambusher. Yeah, no kidding. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Alright. Yeah, I don't remember this at all, so I'm pretty sure either this is new with this update, or we just never did it. I don't know. I don't know. Here we go, here we go. First, uh, uh, oh, thank you, Helda. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's cool. All right, the time has started. Thank you so much, Elda, for the sub. Really appreciate it. Subscribe for two months now. Thank you so much, Elda. But first, what this, what's this button do? Thank you so much, Elda. I really appreciate it. 
That brings us back up to eight subs. We were at ten earlier. Uh, that's mostly because we had gifted subs. Big thanks to Ruin for doing that. Try to, uh, yep, you're welcome. Try to spread my prime love around. Okay, will do. Will do. I love it that we just stun people. <laughs> like That horn was so loud. I don't even know what's going on. There we go, there we go. Let's get this last one. Good deal, good deal. Need to defeat the captain, okay. I'm guessing they're definitely up this way. Uh, I think we got everything over there too. Oh, there's more over here. I knew there was some somewhere, I just didn't remember where it was. Here we go. We are just fervorless right now. All right, there we go. <laughs> I forgot a word. I tried to. Okay, okay. Well, hey, I tried to spread around some love too. Lurking first night. All right. There we go. There we go. And there are a lot of concentrated supplies right here. Jeez. Okay. I can't believe we never did this before. See, that's what's nice about returning to <laughs> zones is that sometimes you just find that you just didn't do quests. Good deal, good deal. Actually, kind of tough too. All right. After this one, it's just five more to go. Good deal. Good deal. Ten out of fifteen. We'll make 12 and then the rest should just be up there. Good deal. There was more than we needed actually, I think, because I think it was. Totally, it's hard to see. From all the way over here. Alright, awesome. Get that stolen supplies. Yeah, so there were. Yeah, there were. Like way more. Wow. Okay. There's Captain. Hmm. Let's see if we can block line of sight. Just get you. Nope, 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 nope. We can't. Alright. Well, we'll fight you all. They went down. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Eight thousand morale on this guy. It's just a landscape quest. 
with two mobs, mind you. It, it's ridiculous how much morale the enemies are starting to get at level 120. Kind of insane. Come on, come on. There we go. Alright. Let's get all this before they come back. There we go. Now we can return. Loot all that. Mount up. Here we go. And Saren almost has the ring. Come on. There we go. Let's talk. Will you help us? There is always more to be done. Yes. Thank you, champion. At least I am able to recoup some of my losses. A shame that lives were lost to those brutes. You will help us face our foes, yes? Oh, dang. The Bjornin guards really are Bjornin guards. That's cool. That's cool. Our people survived, and our hardships made us stronger. You inform Lefred that the orcs have been defeated. Wonderful! I cannot thank you enough, Andeng. A trader is nothing if he cannot freely trade. And so I'm only going to give you 43 silver. <laughs> now I have to convince these stubborn Bayornings that the road can be opened again. But you're not going to, so we gotta go deliver the supplies for you, okay. Well, here we go. To the town. Nope. All that. Arheim. Okay, let's make our way on up there, I guess. Up there, I guess. See, this is the town. This is the thing that we... Yeah, we've definitely been here. Okay. I fear our troubles are only beginning. Supplies from Lufred. Thank you, Andeng. We have not received any supplies from the north in some time. Please accept this payment. 43 silver. Thank you so much. Alright. Well, I guess that finishes off that whole plotline. So that was... I guess we just missed those three quests. Well, glad we did them, I suppose. Those orcs were some of the hardest orcs we've fought, I think. So that's interesting that some of the hardest content was there, but I suppose this is the end of the zone of the previous area. Alright, so now we need to make it all the way up to that part of the Gladden Fields. I'm guessing the fastest way would just be to go all the way up there. Don't spend it all in one place, right? Yeah, that 43 silver. Hard to spend. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got stuff we can put this on. Parry rating, don't care about. Let's do critical rating. Uh, da, 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 da. This has two slots. Let's do that. Yeah, I don't care about parry. Alright. Reminds me of when my grandma used to give me a penny when I was young. <laughs> a penny saved is a penny earned, young BSM Raider. Mm. 
I was there when Lincoln told me. Alright, let's go to the north. Oh boy, stay away from the toad. Stay away from the toad. Repair them. So there's one there, there, and there. And yeah, there's only those six. Okay, good. Not as many locations as I thought we had to go to. That's good. So let me know what you guys think of this update so far. I think that it's actually a really good idea for them to be um, spreading out the content. In fact, I wish that every single update they'd have like two of these. So like Holt, Fist, and Roscobel, that's one. And you know like uh, the Bionic Lands and the Wolf Dens, that's one. And Glenfields and this area, that's one. And apparently they had you know a seventh area so that's its own kind of thing. So then you could have, you know, so many more updates throughout the period. You still only pay for the one, you know, pack for the whole thing. But then instead of having like, you know, a week of Lotro being in the news, you'd have, you know, several months of Lotro being in the news. Even if you just released them like every other week, you know, a new update like that, that's still, you know, two or three more weeks of updates that you would have than than otherwise. And so I feel like it would be a, I don't know, I like the idea of them re you know having that type of just, oh, we're releasing more content. Because then it's not as long from their previous release until then. Until the next one, I mean. So I don't know. Oh great, another place. Here we go. See, these guys are easier. Jeez, we got a lot of them though. That's kind of concerning. Come on. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, about them being easier. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. That was just a really bad pull, really. But hey, we got an Essence of Fate. And an Essence of Might, okay. Not all is wasted. I mean, yes, I know we would have gotten it even if we lived, but that's besides the point. Nope, don't, don't need to fight, don't need to fight. Go, 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 go. Stay away from the toad, stay away from the toad. Shades in the swan, da, da, da. explore the mountain pass, see how we still need to do that. Okay. Easy peasy. And now we silently swim, because that's all you do in Lotro. You never loudly swim anymore. Through the Anduin. Pick up the pace. Okay, now let's go. Now we ride. <laughs> if we got good loot from that, I'd be like, hey, there we go. I like how we're running past and we're just like, eh. <laughs> Oops, 
staying away from all of you. All y'all. All we want to do is get these places explored, these flowers soiled, just pour some miracle grow on them and we're good to go. Like the moon reflection there. Silly marsh tenders. Nobody likes you. All right. We're getting there. It's a long way back over, but we're getting there. I think we'll go up this way. Anything have you heard of this book called The Lord of the Rings? Oh boy. Look what a ruin's done. Look what a ruin has done. Okay, let's hope. be able to make it. No problem. We've done this a million times. Right? There we go. There we go. Alright. All that. And let's go ahead and pop that just in case. And if I would have known it was all the way over here, I would have just gone up the other way. Here we go, here we go. Little stroke. Deal, good deal. Now we're in. Much easier to enter over there. All right, now we're looking for a flower <laughs> in the orc camp. Excuse me, Mr. Orc, have you seen a flower? Oh, uh, yes, it's right over here. Let me help you find it. There we go, there's the flower. Time to pour some Miracle Grow. The flower shines with renewed vigor, and then an orc tramples it, and all hope is lost. Yeah, I don't think these flowers are going to stay in great condition for too long inside the orc camp. But you know, what do I know? I like to think orcs think we are literally insane. They're like, yeah, he just came in here and he, he poured some soil on a flower. The orc captain's like, oh, so a champion of Eriador came in here and poured some soil on a flower. Right. And I'm the Witch King. You're the Witch King? No, you idiot. Alright. I feel like that's how that conversation goes. There's, there's no way that there's other outcomes. Okay, here we go. Ruffian Relic Hunter. Alright, now we can charge right through them. 
and make our way on up to the north to go sprinkle soil of purity on another flower. Einhard's homestead. <laughs> the best conversation I've ever heard. Man, everyone owes me. Everyone owes me big time. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, they still got the weak fire. Okay. <laughs> Meg Molong, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. Soil of purity equals fertilizer, <laughs> right? Goblins are easy enough. We got a trap on us though, so we can't move just yet. Looks like the flower is right over here. Easy peasy. Good deal, good deal. I'm just trying to figure out why we feel so weak. I'm not sure. I don't know why. Hey, here's the flower. So, so far it's been two orc camps and one goblin takeover. I don't know how much, uh, how much we're gonna be doing here. You know, th I feel like these flowers are really just gonna go away. What happened to the farm? I hope there was no sheep in there. Seriously, everyone, you owe me, buddy. Big time. Can't even have a conversation in my chat anymore without there being sheep buns. It's unbelievable. I legit almost said unbelievable. Uh, yeah, that's that's how bad everyone's gotten me. All right, let's just follow the clearly marked road. It's a little bit clearer up here, but with all this extra mist and fog, it's just it's hard to hard to see. Yeah, I feel so weak. Uh, also, after the update. Don't know what they did. Yeah, I guess they made everything stronger. Uh, probably be doing a hard difficulty increase for a sorry, sorry, a soft difficulty increase for what I'm assuming will be another difficulty increase with Ms. Morgul. That's what I'm guessing they're doing. But y'all never know. Alright, let's see what's up here. Let's see what's up. A lot of not good things. Alright. Hey, this this makes more sense. The flower in the forest. This feels like Fangorn all over again. This is... Alright, I take that back. There's orcs. Of course there's orcs. But hey, there's the flower. If we can just survive these orcs, we'll be in a good spot. And, and the flies. And we can't forget the flies. And that orc. And every NPC in the game. And if we can do that, then we'll be in just a fine spot. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. What have we done? What have we done? Come on, come on, come on. We just want the flower. We just want the flower. <sighs> I 
All this for a flower, okay. <clears throat> flower glimmers with renewed energy. Great. Glad we helped the flower. We literally have the seed of the light of the trees in our pocket item. And yet, we're worried about these flowers. Sure. If you played the Black Book of Mordor, you know what I'm talking about. We learned that in our replay through on our lore master the other night. Spoiler alert, the flowers are near an orc camps all over the Vales. Yeah, I, that was the last one, so we did we did figure that out. It's not cool, but we did figure that out. Okay, so now we can stable up to that one stable that's not even... Well, I guess we can't because it doesn't have to travel to other places, remember? Did I just say remember to myself? I think I did. That's embarrassing. I feel like I'm having a conversation just on my own. You will help us face our foes, yes? Tonight was the night Andang went crazy. I don't know what happened. Minimum level 9. You can travel these places at level 90? Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll go to Arheim. That's weird, because that stable that we unlocked isn't even on this map. And there's, like, no other map. So that's great. Well, I guess there is a map over here once you get over there. I think... I might be thinking of the interior of... Anyway, we'll go to our... Unbelievable, yep. The beans were on the chair? What? Okay. Good deal, good deal. Let's go. Nope, that's not a path. It looked like one. It looks like one, all right. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one that feels like they're weaker with this update. Glad to know it's a thing. I just don't remember seeing that. I guess I didn't reread the patch notes recently enough to remember that. Or maybe it's not there. Maybe everyone's just mysteriously not as strong. Maybe we don't really have armor equipped. We just think we do. Okay, there, <laughs> there we go. That's interesting. Very interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and pop that since we have 23 of them. Extra 500 morale can't hurt. Tun Melon. Start paying attention where we're moving, apparently. Alright. Good deal, good deal. Yes, through the swamp. What a great idea. Alright, we need to go up somewhere around here. Because we gotta find that mountain pass. That was a twisted tree. Up the hill and through Mirkwood to Grandfather's house we go. Da 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 da. To Radagast's house we go. 
All right. Here we are. Come on, give me something. Top press. Hey, hunter friend. Error, error. Well, we need to pay attention apparently again. Why are you the rocks shut the door who? Cause there were trees. They went through their error. Okay. Yeah, you lost me. I think you lost yourself too. So there's that. Hey look, there's a res right here. That actually looks pretty cool. That actually looks really cool. Alright. Well had we stopped there, we got a good screenshot. A good screenshot, we did it, we got it. Alright, let's swim across here and hopefully not die this time. For the millionth freaking time. And make it through. Alright, we can do this. It's just another wandering lost light, of course. Okay. Yep, yep, take my weapons. Just take them. I don't need them. I don't need them. See, I keep pressing the wrong button. That's part of the problem. Alright. Check <laughs> Sam.exe has crashed. I believe it. Let's see, we still need to destroy those shadow runes, which is inside the thing. And destroy the shadow torches, which we haven't done any of that. But basically we need to go inside the thing. Uh, we also need to return to... who to what what a Near the flooded thingamadoo. So we're gonna do that too. Near the flooded thingamadoo. Why can you click on your message? Because it counts as a website when you put a dot in it. So it assumes that that's a website. Because Twitch is dumb in that regard. Laratara the what? The drummer. And Lundren Deer. A villa Barunthiel's cats, that's awesome. I wanna join that kin. Alright, well this is not the place we're looking for, but we might as well talk to you. You there! Clearly Stranger. we need you. Alright. Don't ban me, Twitch. Don't tase me, bro. All right, lost spirit. Goodbye. This is a weird spot for them to be at, like halfway through here. Okay. Sure. For the mounted pass too. And that I guess we were doing other quests. The mountain pass is way back up there. And it's gonna be this way? Somewhere around here. Yeah, here we go. Let's see the mountain pass thing right now. 
Why not? And of course, it's another one of these. Oh, jeez. Here we go, here we go. Good deal, good deal. All right. Let's make our way on up the hill. Up the hill. So we might actually... Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. I, I wish I knew how much more there was. Because uh, that would determine if I want to be ending the stream after three hours. Or if I want to keep going for however long there may or may not be. That looks pretty cool though. This is definitely the mountain pass, I just don't see... At least I assume this is the mountain pass. I don't see how we get way up there though. Good deal, good deal. All right. I'm starting to think that this is not the mountain pass. Like, there's no way this is the way we're supposed to go, right? Well, no, 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 this is definitely, definitely not the mounted pass. So, where is it? I guess it's further along. All right, we're going to find this mounted pass and we're going to Take care of business. Huh. Well, that's definitely unexpected. Good deal, good deal, good deal. whole thing. That's just beautiful. Alright, if I was a mountain pass, I guess I'd be further along. Dun, da, da. Okay, that makes more sense. I delight to know you have honored my friends. The maiden's former distrust is gone. Now she gazes at you with fondness, 
and her smile sparkles like sunshine on the water. I delight to know you have honored my friends, though they went away so long. The passions of Linwist could not be quenched, and were not. She was the first to leave, and I missed her most of all. Merilith had a beauty all her own, and as she walked among her gardens, there were none who did not love her. Silos' laughter echoed in the dell, leaping from hearer to hearer, arousing happiness in each one. Wild Bregland was the last to leave. She drew pleasure from even the most untamed of regions, and delighted in ferocity. You have the trust of Golthava. Perhaps you can help my friend. I will bring you to see my friend. Tell me when you are ready, and I will bring you to see my friend. Step with care, for the way may be treacherous for mortals. Alright, real quick, let me check and see what all we got left. But I'm thinking that we're not going to be able to finish it all tonight. Oh, they were wanting help, and then... Did I see that right? Did they come all this way wanting help and then died off? Yeah. Anyway, let's let's see if we can look up uh, interlude. Lotro. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, shades in the swamp. In the swamp. Lotro wiki. for Okay, so Lotro Wiki doesn't have it yet, I guess. All right. Well, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and end it off here. And then tomorrow, tomorrow night, we're going to be questing more through this area. So I'm super excited for that. Hopefully you guys are as well. When we return, we will find out what the heck is going on with this place and all these people. Uh, this is a pretty cool introduction to this area. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did and want to see more content like this, be sure to follow over on Twitch so you can catch the stream live and help to support the channel like that. Made of Lions, welcome to the chat. If you're curious, that's the last quest. Oh. Made of Lions, welcome to the chat. Let's get some hype for Made of Lions in the chat, everybody. Made of Lions says it's the last quest. Well, in that case, in that case, Made of Lions, instead of doing that, you've been lurking. Hey, Made of Lions, thank you so much. Huge pleasure, huge fan of you, Made of Lions. Mary Rose, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here as well. I'm a huge fan, Made of Lions. Love your story. All right, well, in that case, since this is the last quest, we're actually going to take a break and we're going to get snacks, get drinks, get things like that and then we're going to finish this thing off. Does that sound good to everybody? Good deal, good deal. Alright, so we're going to take a quick intermission. I'm going to get some music going for you guys. Uh, let's, let's switch to that while I set that up. And uh, it should be good, should be good.